Hello, everyone. I'm Yuta Akiyama. Thank you for watching my video. This time, I'm going to show you how to make a deep fake video. When you watch this video, you can transform into a beautiful girl like this. You can transform into a handsome man like this. In the previous video, I showed you how to make a deep fake using a Google collaboration tool. I think there were a lot of difficulties with the input of the command, so I'd like to introduce it in a simpler way this time. Let's get started. First, download the free EB Synth software. EB Synth is a composition tool that borrows the power of AI to apply keyframe graphics to the entire video. If you look at this official video, you can see that if you add a keyframe like this, the entire video will be composed of animation videos. Next, download the familiar face processing app, FaceApp. Both of these have links in the summary section, so if you're interested, please download them from here. Next, open a suitable video editing app and import the video. By the way, this time I'm using a tool called Adobe After Effects. If it's an editing tool that can export a video as a PNG sequence, anything is fine. Then I will import the video. Here it is. This is the video I imported this time. You can transform into a handsome man like this. Yes, it's like this. Then let's change the rendering settings here. What I want you to change here is to change the PNG sequence from the format. I want to fix the size to 1920 by 1080, so I'll set it here. Now that the settings are complete, it's okay. Next, let's create a new folder for the output. This is the output folder. Save it here. Click render here. Rendering is now complete. When rendering is complete, all frames will be output like this. In this case, it is output from 0 to 163. From here, select a frame that you want to face up and apply the effect. Then I will select an image from here. Then I will select this image and apply the effect. Then I will use my smartphone to face up and apply the effect. I was able to create a handsome man like this with face up. It's great. This time, this is the reference frame, so I would like to change this. First of all, what I want you to change is the file name here. Please change this file name to the same name as the original frame name. This time I used this file, so please copy this oldman 0060. It's like this. Let's create a new folder. I want to create a folder called keyframe. Please save the photo you just created here. That's all for the settings. The next step is the appearance of EB Synth. When you open the EB Synth app, the screen of the app will be displayed like this. The settings are really simple, and I will select the image keyframe I created earlier. This is the image. When this selection is completed, this project directory will be automatically reflected. Next, I will specify the folder where each frame is stored in the place where it says video. This is the first frame I output. Next, I would like to select the output folder, but this time I will specify the new folder. I will name it edited output. Click open here. Then click the synth button and a buy synth will eventually apply effects to all frames. Now that the Abai synth process is complete, let's look at the output file. It's like this. I think it's a good fit for my uncle's face. Now, I'm going to import this PNG sequence back to the editing software. Click read here. 
Select an appropriate image and click this PNG sequence. By doing this, you can change the image to a video. Then save it. Yes, it's done. Now let's take a look at the comparison video of the finished video. You can transform into a very cool uncle like this. How was today's video? This time, I showed you how to deepfake using a buy synth, but I think you can do it quite easily. If you are interested, why not try it? I post videos on this channel every week, so please subscribe and like it. Please look forward to the next video. See you next time.